Good morning. We're waking up and the boys are in the hot tub. Is it nice? Yes? Look how snowy it is outside, guys. Wow, Liam. You got a giant ice? Mmm, so yummy. <laughs> Today is going to be a different vlog. This is Lara and Mommy. My name is Florencia. Welcome to our channel. This is our blog channel. And today we want to do something different for the New Year resolution. Something that I didn't know that I need. And then when I, my mom told me about her, it's like I need to do that for sure. So this is a con Marie. She started with a method. But I'm listening to her audiobook, and then now I found out there are uh, like a series on Netflix that you can look at, but it's so good. I just saw one episode. I found what I needed for this year, 2019. So I talked with my husband, I talked with the kids. It's like we had to do this. This is something that you don't know that you, don't, you need it until you really think about it, and then you realize you do need it. So we, we do have a lot of stuff, especially toys. And as you know, we have a YouTube channel called Me and My Kids that we do a lot of toy reviewers. So we get a lot tons of toys. Even if we donate, we give it to our families, we still have a lot. And it still have a lot, like it goes farther than what you can have for like a normal household. <laughs> so, and this is a process that is good for our soul, it's, it's good for ourselves, not only for the house, and for everybody, you know, it's gonna make space in the house. It's gonna be, make things more visible. So you ready to do it? Yeah. So we're gonna show you how the first method begin and hopefully we're doing it right. And we're thankful for what we have, what we don't need. And we're gonna give it to somebody who does need it. Okay guys, this is my room. As you can see, I have clothing everywhere. This is real life. I have clean clothing that I had to fold. I have clothing that I had to put away. And I have clothing that I had to fold. It's pretty much kid toys and stuff everywhere. This is my closet. We have daddies, mommies, mommies, mommy shoes with some games that we play at New Year's Eve and the kids didn't put it away. Of course, I had to do it. So it's like they depend on me. Something that we're going to try to change with this method. They're going to try to help mommy more often, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this, I had to take everything out, everything. And it's a lot of shoes that I didn't wear anymore. I have some, I have some bed sheets over there. And I have, and I have a lot more shorts in here and a lot more, sh more shorts in here, so. Because sometimes you have like clothes that you like never use but you really love it and sometimes it's hard to let it go but you have to let it go you need to grab the piece yep. and decide if, it, if you need it and and think about it right like she teach you. you if there's something that you don't want you're like i'm not never going to use this you have to say you have to say thank you and you put it in a bin you don't want so we're going to Lara's room now and uncle's gonna sleep here today but we'll still need to get this out of the garage. It's just we don't have space on the garage right now. That's the reality. Yeah. And here we have only shirts. My leotards and... In here you have your pajamas. This is my closet. Her closet is kind of like the toy storage plus clothing. Some dresses that she plays. So these... Like my uniform. Her main thing is gonna be when we make it to toys. We're not in toys yet, but when we go to toys, that's gonna be the hardest part. This is Liam's room. Of course, he's gonna struggle a lot with toys. This is insane. And a lot is everywhere. Everywhere is toys. And he have a lot of beautiful drawers he can put it on, but I don't want him to put anything on until we clutter and decide what he's gonna put away, what he's gonna donate. We're gonna put all the clothing on his bed. As you can see, he doesn't have much hanging in there, but he does have a lot. He does have a lot on his chores. So we need to go through that and decide what he's gonna what he's gonna keep and what he's gonna put away. So we know this is gonna be crazy, but we're gonna make it right. 
We're gonna do it, it's gonna take time. Are you ready to do this, Leah? Okay, so first it's gonna be clothing, and then we start with the papers, and then we go to toys. Costumes gonna be included on the cost on the clothing. Yeah, the costumes that don't fit me are the this is my karate one, it's old, so I'm not gonna wear it because we can donate that for somebody yeah. who need it. Yeah, who? So does karate. The part is gonna be the hardest for me. It's, I think it's gonna be the, the kids' toys because it's too much everywhere in the house. So, so this is gonna be extreme, but let's begin because we have a long day to go. Oh my god, you guys. This feels weird. It feels like I'm making a mess instead of organizing anything. Unbelievable. This is real. I don't even wear a lot of this stuff. I wear a lot of these, but not every day. I don't use all of them a day, but I want them for I want to bring them. I still got to go to the shoes, but I don't even have space to put it now. So I'm going through the clothing first and then I'm going to the shoes. This is an empty closet. I still have to grab uh, some jackets, it's like it's, it's never going to end, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm going to keep bringing and bringing stuff. can see the pile is going down I still had to select all these this box is for donation for sure on this whole pile I'm putting it away to see if any of my family wants it because they're really good quality still but same thing is donation I have sweaters on this one but now it's empty I had to go to the pajamas Nani are you ready? okay Nani let's do this out of the doors we took everything else on the closet just left the uniforms that we know she used I'm gonna bring a box do a donation box okay I'm gonna bring a box for donation you found your beef nanny this ballet. you did a uh, rehearsal with a it's your choice. this is so pretty nanny I wanna save this Look how, open it up so we can see how little you were. She was so tiny. Okay, guys, this is the pile for donation. The bed is completely clean. I still have to figure out where I'm going to put the bed sheets. This is her door. Long sleeve, short sleeves. The pants, I might fold it like she's teaching, but I'm not sure. PJs, I'm putting it like that. Still empty space in the back. The top, she has the swimsuit shorts, swimsuit shorts, school socks, 
short sax and long sax. Hair clothing, hair dresses, only uniform and random light jackets. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this is not easy. It's been more than three hours, I believe. But I do have all this hanger to throw it away. They're pretty much like plastic from the store, so I'm gonna throw all this away. I might donate these ones because they're a little bit better, but the bed is pretty much empty already. Look at the box, I'm still filling that up so much. I don't think I can even close it. I need to probably push a little to make a little space to do it. Okay guys, I'm gonna close. This is my box, this is Lara's box, and this is just the beginning, so I'm gonna close it for donation. The bag of hangers, all was full of clothing. Okay you guys, I finally revealing the closet. Daddy did it when I was, the next day when I was doing the shoes, so, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I'm gonna post a picture. Here is how the shoes were before, and I put the boots on there now. So here's a picture of before, and this is the after, of course. And this is the clothing. Look how much it changed. It's like space everywhere right now. This is all the sweaters I have everywhere in the house. So the door, like I told you before, is gone. Have, it's empty, I put socks already and this is all the clothing including dresses and it goes from lighter to darker and then I was able to put the purses up there and I saw online a little separation that I want to get but I didn't get it yet, I want to buy it online so this is daddy's, of course he didn't have much before so now it's like plenty of space for him but this is before and after it's really different guys this is all my shirts this is swimsuit and sport bra here I had the PJs and this was all sweaters now I had things and then this is I know she folded differently I didn't try that yet, so I had to try that. I put it in boxes so it's now all over in the drawer. Day three. This is the before for the restroom. I'm done with the bathroom. Look at it. This thing is amazing. It's like saving so much space. And I can organize just for what it's like. Things for the face, things for the face, for the hair for the hair and even has these little openings so you can have it like this I love it, I think it's really good so I'm able to put whatever I use the most anywhere because this is so easy to move around I have things for the feet on the back because it's not something I use every day my brush and here's the other part where I had the cotton you know the mouth thing, my husband things, the towels on the back and I put this little the, uh, basket from the Dollar Tree so you kind of like keep everything in place so this is great guys, look how much everything changed right? and I'm gonna post a picture of before and after so you can see the difference so let's move to the next, next part this is inside the doors in my office guy with extreme change and good separation a lot of craft and stuff for study and the kids so everything is organized all the papers for work printers and stuff i was able to organize the game boards down there this is really practical it's those things that you can put shoes or clothing and hang it there because I emptied up a whole closet full of game rooms a lot of stuff we had to review some coloring books for the kids 
some more stuff for review. I do have a large review for the other channel. I was able to done the kitchen during the weekend. Here's all the snacks, and as you can see, it's all with separation. I got this at Dollar Tree, so it's easier to put everything on their own spa. This is like, those were snacks, so the kids are able to get it quickly, and they're easy to reach. Here are the noodles and more things that I don't want them to read that often. So like quick snacks, this is a quick lunch and some more things to cook. Uh, these are like jellos cake, vitamins, but all with separation. I put that little, that stir, little shell that you can get at Dollar Tree and everything keeps it so organized. That's for cake decoration. I love to do all the kids' party cake decorations and stuff. This is all the cereal part and snacks like chips. The big door, all the stuff to cook, barbecue, you know, pizza cutters, stuff like this. The doors for the utensils. And as you can see, I try to put everything by separation so I know where things are. And it's not crazy like before. I put the cups on a bin, a little bin as well. Balls, things to cook, kids, stuff for school, all like by order. So they hold it in here so you don't have to get crazy. They fall or they roll all over. Cups and plates. I keep on the top the Christmas kind, like the holiday and then everything else is for regular days. I got this at Dollar Tree, like the other one, and it's super easy because it keeps so... It's like this one, so I put the smaller plates in here, which trying to this washer right now. So this is how it's looking so far with the clothing. I'm so happy. We show you Lara's already. So I had to done Liam's. I didn't finish Liam's yet. So now we're ha I had to go in books and papers. And then I will show you the after on that. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for being part of our family. We hope you like our process of the Marie Kondo. So thank you so much for watching guys and comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. Bye!